Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video for you and this is using a mixture of different kits that I've got lying around and I thought I should probably tackle. Um, I'm going to be using this large photo, it is just under 10 by 8 I think, <laughs> I can't quite remember, um, but it's a large um, photo which was taken on my dad's 65th birthday of all of the family. Um, and it's actually a really nice photo and it's kind of because the um, camera was sat on the table it's kind of got a bit of a sort of blown out effect around the edge from all the lighting but I really like it so I'm taking these papers I believe these are Paige Evans maybe Pink Paisley I don't know that's really bad um, they're from the latest um, like forever kit and um, of course this paper was just begging to be fussy cut and if you've watched my videos you'll know that I really like fussy cutting so that's not a problem. I decided I was going to go a little bit um, trendy on this one as well um, and do some stitching. Um, I used to do stitching on layouts and um, yeah it's alright I mean I'm, I like it and I've done it quite a lot but I haven't done it much lately so I thought yeah I might do some stitching on this one just you know because you, you know it's nice to be trendy every so often um but yeah i'm i'm not i'm not one of those people that can spend hours um like stitching on a background i love i love how it looks but it's just not for me um you know and that's the thing everyone has their little styles and what they like but it's not for me but i do do a little bit of um stitching on here so i just went from my die cut box and i pulled out that frame um, which says I love us which I believe is an Amy Tangerine and so I know that I want, I've got this sort of space down here to do my um, hand hand written stitching um, I know you can do it with fonts and stuff like that but I just like having my own writing on there and um, I said I've done this on quite a few layouts so I'm just going to put my um, title which is family time um, and just sort of kind of playing around a little bit with um, what I want to do with my letters. And I said, <laughs> gonna fuss around with this for quite a bit. But I'm kind of happy with how it looks. I don't want it overbearing, I don't want it massive, because I know that I want to add a little bit of interest um, behind there as well. So now I've sort of planned out where it's going to go on the layout, I'm going to take all of this off. And um, I'm now going to use just use my pokey tool um, to poke through this this wording, and this is how I do it. I know there's 101 different ways to do this, but this is the way that I do it. I said it is very time consuming, which is why no, nah, you're not going to see me doing this a lot. But yeah, I do like the effect. So just see the lovely shot of my hair there. Um, <laughs> So I have now fussy cut all the flowers um, and have done my stitching and I left um, the black border around those flowers on purpose because I'm using that dark wood grain um, so I decided with that with that border it's just going to make everything pop a little bit um, so I'm going to end up inking some of the other bits that I put down as well um, just so it all, all ties in together and so that heart paper that I'm using to mount it is actually the back of that floral paper there. Um, I just used a sort of peachy coloured um, embroidery floss um, to do my title and I just put three little sort of crosses up the top there. Because I knew that my photo was going to take up so much real estate on this page, um, you know, I wanted to keep everything else pretty simple. So I just wanted to add a little bit of interest to the background so I'm just going to take my paintbrush and just paint a few little sort of viney things. <laughs> Very much like the tattoos on my wrist. Um, now I'm watching this, I can kind of see that. Um, just adding some little flowers. And actually, my mum designed the tattoos that I've got on my wrists. Because um, it's what simple little flowers and placement. So she's actually the one who like placed them out and designed them for me. Um, and I had them about cracky about ten years ago. Yeah, they're over ten years old, I think. So yes. Anyway, we're not here to talk about my tattoos. So I'm just doing some really sort of simplistic little vines in the background and then um, adding some more little mist to it. And this is just going to add a little bit of interest because I couldn't add too much 
often because that, that photo is so large. So I've just used a pearlescent white and then um, my favourite um, Route 66. And then I'm putting a little bit of gold on as well. I do drop a little bit there on the bottom. Um, so I decided to just sprinkle some over my die cuts as well as they're sitting there on the, on the side of my desk. So I'm just going to have to wait for that to dry a little bit. Which, you know, I'm not the most patient person. So under that I'm going to just um, use my ATG and stick down this photo. As you can see, my little um, vines and stuff are only going to show a little bit and that's that's what I wanted. And now I'm just going to add um, that one to the top cluster. Which I said, and I cut that skinny bit out as well, just to add some dimension. I was thinking about popping some up on some 3D fine, but I thought, no, it's too much hassle. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just just playing around here and I said some of it's going to go off the edge slightly and I'm yeah I'm okay with this and so as there's space in the bottom of that photo um, I'm going to you know use it to cover up and you're not going to you know miss anything from the photo whatsoever so I'm just sticking my frame down and then I'm going to stick that um, piece down last because I know I want to add a few little bit more embellishments to that bottom corner um, I have this little tag which I think came from an LA studio um, pieces, I think, which we've got in a in the kit a couple of kits ago, um, and I'm just sticking those down, adding little layering pieces, um, just in the way I always do, just starting adding little pieces. Um, you'll also see on my desk there is a cocoa vanilla love always, I believe, and it's like the little bits and pieces thing. Um, it's quite a good idea, really, for a pack. I mean, a lot of it is, you know, quite dimensional. You've got um, little tassels and stuff in there, the sequins. So it's quite cool. I quite like it. I don't think I'd have brought it if it didn't come in a kit, but I do quite like it. Um, so there's a few little bits that I pick out of there, which is a dimensional flower, little ribbon flower, um, a little tag, and a little sort of cabochon heart. So that works out quite well. Quite like that. Um, I said I love this like little label and I just thought it was gonna look quite cute hanging down beside the frame not really sure why just thought it would kind of look cute so I'm then gonna um, stick that the flower down because I'm now sort of happy with where my placements gonna be and then I have these two hearts from um, Ellie studio as well I believe and um, I'm just gonna stick them down in the bottom and and then put a little ribbon flower down and that is it i said it's it's not actually it's a very time intensive one because of course i had to do the stitching on there which is by the rest is pretty simplistic but i actually quite like it so thank you for watching guys and i'll be back very very soon bye